Hey there, everyone. Thanks for watching. And I am going to put this on video for the first time here in 2020. It's January 10th, 2020. And I have a stretch goal of trying to get to 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So I thought what we would do is kind of I would take a look back. It's almost been two years uh, to the date since we started this journey together. Uh, it's always been about one rental at a time, investment properties, money, your finances, you know, how you too can be a multimillionaire with real estate, how to get started, subscriber questions, all that good stuff. So I created a very quick presentation, really about two slides, kind of reviewing what we've done together the last two years and how, you know, I'm looking at getting to that magical 10,000 subscriber level. So I'd love you to take a look. Let me know what you think. I love suggestions, feedback, questions, comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. So let me share this and we will uh, we'll do this quickly together. So again, kind of putting it out there, putting some pressure on myself. Um, you know, we are uh, targeting 10,000 subscribers in 2020. Uh, but first, let me review the first two years with you. So I don't know if you know this, but uh, I started this YouTube journey really as social media presence back on March 14th, 2018. Didn't have a YouTube channel, didn't have a Facebook page, didn't have an Instagram account, had none of these things. I was just a busy tech worker. Uh, I had a LinkedIn page because that's what you do in, in business, but really no social media present, uh, presence. We then retire, trying to figure out what to do. Uh, I find a way to try to give back, and the birth is this YouTube channel called One Rental at a Time. As of today, just minutes ago, um, so you know, January 10th, 2020, at about, I don't know, one o'clock or so, we've had 205,996 views, and we're just over 4,100 subscribers. So, um, you know, this is my journey. It's neither good nor bad. It's obviously a lot slower than lots of channels. Maybe it's a little faster than others. I don't know. Again, I have no context. Like you, I see subscribers like Graham Stephan with over a million subscribers and meet Kevin with this and uh, Grant Cardone with a million. And, you know, uh, I, we're sitting at about 4,100. Uh, again, I am thankful for each and every one. I love the interactions, comments, questions. So count me as happy. I am very happy with where we are today. Uh, my journey with YouTube has grown and changed. Uh, at first, I was trying to do three times a week because that's what people told me to do. Uh, I have since gone every day. It's just, frankly, more fun for me. Uh, I did pay a consultant. I don't know if you've been watching this channel. Maybe it was late last year. I paid a consultant to give me recommendations. He kind of audited my YouTube account. And his feedback was basically post once a day at the same time every day. So there was about a 60 or 90 day window where I think I was posting at 6 a.m. or it might have been 9 a.m. And I just, I wasn't having any fun. I just wasn't, right? I create the videos, I hit post, and then, you know, uh, sometimes I'd create seven or eight videos in a row and, and they'd just go out one day at a time. It was just no fun for me. So that quickly devolved into, well, I'm just going to be me. So I'm just going to be me. I'm going to keep having fun. I know my thumbnails are terrible. Um, I basically take a Google an image and throw it up there. I don't add words to it. Lots of people do. Um, but, you know, I, I guess I could do more, but it's just me. I have a lot more fun tackling meaty topics that you guys give me as opposed to spending hours and hours editing videos. None of my interviews get edited. I think there was one or maybe two that I had to cut an air gap out of the video because I think one time somebody had to go get a UPS package. Other than that, the videos are, are shot and uploaded same day. Uh, I do lots more live sessions now because I want, I want it to be raw. I don't want it to be edited. I, I wouldn't know how to edit to begin with, but I don't want anybody to think I'm editing the videos. So in the end, this is where we're, where we're at as of January 10th, you know, just shy of 206,000 views and 4,100 subscribers. So 
this is where I need your help. This is um, this is my plan to get to ten thousand. Uh, it's kind of more of the same, if you will, but being focused on a couple of topics. Uh, I really truly enjoy doing our daily financial videos. I will keep doing those even when I travel. I will find a way to get those recorded and uploaded. They may not be live when I'm traveling, but they will certainly be created and recorded and uploaded every day. Uh, it's just fun for me. It's something I do all the time, and I might as well share with you. And if you've been following these daily financial videos, we've been pretty good at calling several things. Um, and, you know, it's, it's fun to be right. We've missed a few times as well, uh, no doubt. Um, but again, I think we're, we're, more, we're batting more than 50% right versus wrong. Uh, one of the areas I truly enjoy, and I've done this now for over a year, is interviewing folks. Uh, if you happen to be in the real estate industry or have, a, have someone you know I should interview, I'd love an introduction. Uh, I do uh, spend time requesting and reaching out. About half the people say yes and half the people go, no, you're not big enough. That's, uh, that is absolutely a response I have gotten. How many subs do you have? 4,000. You're too small. Well, thank you very much. I'll remember that, but it does happen. Uh, one of the ones I really love doing is su subscriber questions. Uh, for the longest time, I would take each question and create its own video. Uh, there have been times recently as this channel has grown where I take a collection of subscriber questions and do one live video, which I enjoy. And frankly, if the channel keeps growing, that will probably be how I answer the subscriber questions is I'll just get an inventory list and answer them one at a time. Uh, Real talk videos is something I've been known for. Uh, even before I started YouTube, right? You ask me your opinion or you, you give me a topic, I'm going to tell you what I think sort of unfiltered. I'll certainly try to be kind and all of that, but I'm not going to bow to opinions or, um, you know, if I, if I think something's not right, I'm going to tell you. Uh, also, you're going to see property walkthroughs. Uh, we are still buying uh, properties, uh, some to flip, some to keep. Uh, some of you like to see the walkthrough videos, especially the ones that start ugly and turn around. So we will keep doing that. Just recently created something called Landlord Stories. Uh, I think this is going to be something. I think I've done three or four already. Uh, but a lot of you are, are, you know, tenants, toilets, termites, trouble, all those T's, you get nervous. It's really not that hard if you're a single family home owner and landlord. The, it's really not that bad. Managing apartments is, whoa, that's work. Uh, but being a single family home landlord's not really that bad, assuming you do great tenant screening. It all starts with tenant screening, um, but that's there. And then I am growing student reviews. I do have a course, basically how to learn your market, how to understand average, good, and great deals. Uh, people keep asking me how we did this one rental at a time. And it's because I learned the market and the market I learned I never been to. So I understand what people are struggling and going through. And, you know, go, go listen to the student reviews. It's amazing to see what they've done in their business and how they've changed. And um, I'm, just, I, I'm just so happy that I'm able to help people get started. If I can help you get one, two, or three rentals and they're the good or great deals, we win. That's success. So uh, I'm looking to do this. Uh, all of these keep going as they come about. And at the end, I'd love suggestions. Uh, some of you out there may have bigger YouTube channels than I do. Love your suggestions. Love to interview you. Uh, do me a favor, you're still watching, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave comments. Uh, I guess there's this YouTube algorithm, which I've never asked or thought about, uh, but apparently it's, uh, it's important. So, you know, that's, uh, that's what I got for you today. So, in the end, I'm going to go for 10,000 subscribers, which is about 150% growth from where we're at today. It's kind of crazy. I think I got my 4,000 subscriber on January 1st. And we're going to go from 4,000 to 10,000. That's, that's pretty big. Um, I, hear it's, I hear from other channels and I watch other videos and they get like 16,000 subscribers in a month. I'm not sure how that happens. But I'm going to keep being me. We're going to keep having fun together. And let's see what happens. All right, everybody. That's my goal for the year. Great.